Uh, <laughs> it's on picture. <laughs> One sec. Hello, everyone. This is. Well, now it's kind of frozen on my computer. <laughs> I think it will catch up. <coughs> I hope it's not moving. <laughs> um. Okay, I trust that it's recording. It is now 4.15 p.m. on Friday, September 1st. And... Um, today I want to talk about being nice and school. So, I really think if you are being mean to other people, you will get meanness back. That is just, like, a fact of how the world works. Love the earth, and the earth will love you back. And if you're being mean to it, that is what will come back. But that's what I want to, because I want to talk about being nice, because I really don't, like, I don't want to cause harm to anyone. And then it made me think, I'm like, well, some people do want to cause harm. And, like, I really, truly don't think they're, like, so, like, they don't they don't want to, but in their heart, like, their heart has been broken, so it's been beaten down, and of course it's been, uh, and now wants to hurt because it thinks it can't love. And if it, like, if you think you can't, like, love doesn't exist or love doesn't matter, like, that's literally everything. That's why, like, I don't know... One day I just started, like, saying, like, all love, love all. That's why I don't know if I... Because I... Th Whatever. I like saying that. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, I mean, to be honest, like, what... That's what it's all about. Like, these people that want to kill a bunch of people, they think love isn't possible. Like, what was that one guy who did it on Valentine's Day because he thought that... He, like no one loved him and that is the saddest thing so that's it like I get kind of in my head about before I record this and post it I really do and that's what I gotta remind myself like I'm not doing it for me I'm doing it for people to that think no one loves them I love you I do, truly. And so, that's why I want to show kindness to others. Because I know that could, that changes people's day around. It changes my day around. Whenever I'm being upset, I see someone being nice, I'm like, dang it. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Like, it, the... Like, how, why does that happen? Like, as soon as I'm being upset, I see nice people around. It's like, it's a reflection. It's a reflection of what I am need to see about myself and learn at that moment. I think if we really pay attention to any moment at all, there are signs that could help us in our life journey. That's what I wrote in my notes, improving myself always. We should always be improving ourselves always until we die always no one's perfect perfection only exists in our minds and our thoughts um yeah so in school wise i remember like when grades started happening what was that third grade like i genuinely did try like it's not like i didn't try at all like i was kind of hard on myself perfectionistic, self-critical, and then, like, not get a good grade, and it's, like, people around, they're, like, oh, you didn't try, or, um, like, how do you just not get it, and then you get put behind and stuff. I don't know, like, I would just be harder on myself, 
because I didn't understand because it's like everyone else, I, they're like everyone else did good on it. Everyone else understood it. And it's like, well, I didn't. Like I always kind of felt like everyone else knew something that I didn't for a while. I mean, for like a long time, I don't know. People cared about stuff I didn't care about. Um, people talked about stuff I didn't care about. And it's just like, you just feel so different and so isolated. And it's like, when you talk, people are just like stunned. They're like, don't, they're like, oh, that was random. Or they, they don't know what to say and just keep talking about stuff. And I mean, it just, um, cause I kind of isolated myself, but it's because I felt so different. I felt like I didn't, like, I know I could change myself to get people to like me, but like, we really didn't want to do that. Um, but then I started being more caring about other things. That was a long branch <laughs> that I just talked about but that's why I don't want anyone to people I don't want anyone to feel bad for me or like to think that because sometimes when I just talk people are like oh you're the and it's like no I really just like I'm just talking like this is I'm just talking but I hated getting told that I was lazy or stuff because at some point I just didn't even want to do the work because it's like I know I'm just not going to do good on it and so I was already like setting myself up being hard on myself like that but it's like I don't even want to do it and then you get called lazy and blah 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 but it's like really I think I just felt dumb and also I can see the point of like I do this work for what like they give me a grade like do I think <laughs> I started realizing, I remember, I realized, I'm like, I don't remember, you know, like those summer breaks, and it's like, I don't remember anything I learned last time I was in school. And then it's like, this just happens every year, and then I feel like I'm just like, kind of, like every year is like a new year, every semester, like I really, and I wasn't interested in a lot of stuff. And you know when you start, like, realizing, you're like, when am I... Like, people start asking in class. I think my brother asked it one time. Just, like, when are we ever going to use this in real life? And you start realizing that, and you're like, what do I do it for? And I don't know. I was always... I never really... You know... I hope people can get the idea of, like, college is what you're supposed to do, and I feel like I always kind of, I never wanted to go, I mean, like, who wants to, because I never felt like the point, I've always known how expensive it was, and, like, I never wanted a job where I needed a college degree, I don't know, but we need to get every, like, college should be a thing if you want to go. Like, I was just thinking about this when I was packing the dishwasher, if you could hear it. Like, it should be a thing if you want to go, but, like, you, uh, it, it should be normal to, like, not go to, like, any job, really. Like, or just not be as expensive. I don't know. But it's really not for everyone. And that's what a lot of people say, but we need to be able to change the society around and like stuff to do. I don't know. That's what I just, I'm gonna keep saying stuff and then say, I don't know, <laughs> leave it up to you all. But y'all know where I'm going with that? Like, I don't have all the answers, no one does. Let's seek what unites us. I wrote that down. Let's seek what unites us, okay? Get out there and do your highest purpose, your life purpose. Like, oh, 
I want to talk about gifts. Like, I think we are all so gifted. See, like, how, um, like, that's what when people cared about this stuff, like, uh, you think something's wrong with you, and it's like, no, nothing's wrong with me. Like, they, everyone, and if people are good at doing, uh, taking a test, or, like, writing essays, or math, or something, like, that's a gift of theirs. It is. And I have different gifts of mine. I still don't know if my camera's working. I can't see myself at all. It's just frozen and my hands are like on my chin. Um, yeah, we all have such different gifts. Like there's like tests online. Um, I wrote a couple essays. I was thinking about <laughs> putting it on my website, but I don't even know. Maybe it will. But it's like the big five test. I'll tell you five different aspects of your personality. It's openness, extroversion, agility. I don't know. I think it spells out ocean. Neurosity. Neurology. Uh, something like that is the end. But yeah, that's interesting the that's what was so interesting getting in a, a lot of people at asbury which is a christian school which i went there for like two years kind of like i'm i was inter i'm interested in theology in like understanding what the bible says like i wanted to be like just i knew it would make my mom happy that's what i was trying to avoid saying that but that's what it was and I was interested in it, too. Like, I wanted to ask people questions about it. <laughs> um, but, so I took a lot of psychology and art classes. And a lot of people um, would love the Enneagram stuff or the INFP. What's it called? That's what I am. But when I take the test, INFP. What's it called, though? Myers-Briggs test, if you look up one of those stuff, but they're obsessed with all that stuff. Yeah. Which I'm, I might as well just say, like, it's fascinating too, and I've always loved taking BuzzFeed quizzes my whole life and personality quizzes to try to understand myself more because I always felt like other people knew something that I didn't know or... I don't know. I was trying to understand myself and other people. The problem was I was living for other people and not doing more of what I wanted without thinking about other people or whatever. But yeah, I always love taking quizzes. Um, yeah, now I'm in a bunch of like Facebook groups that like talk about it, but it's just fascinating that, um, the Christian in Asbury Christian schools like that, they love that stuff. And I've even, t I've talked to a lot about, I did a paper on astrology because it's in the Bible. And I, people can argue all day, aka my mom, <laughs> but I think she, I mean, there's a lot of hidden stuff in the Bible that is fascinating and you kind of you don't know until you start looking at it yourself and a curiosity to learn about it helps that's what curiosity is what like when I hear like I've told you all like I've had to google everything I don't know and it's okay not to know some things but um my curiosity is what keeps me like never bored it what keeps me growing the growth mindset um just always learning because like we're always learning what else did i write down don quixote teaches us that life is to be challenged that the passion and discipline of a willful human spirit is a vital element of being a leader quixote does not accept reality he imposes his imagination his commitment and his joy on it he produces a world of meaning and of meaning that's yeah i if you could see my google searches you might want to I don't know what you think because I don't know what you think, but what I think, I think my curiosity is so insatiable, I have to tone it down. I had to make a podcast to talk about some things, to get some things off my 
just talk about it, get it out. I feel like there's so many things, when people say they're bored, like, oh, okay, I nannied this summer, and I love the kids. If you all are listening to this, like, I love you all, and the parents, like, I love you all. Um, but when people say they're bored, it's like, bro, like, I taught them a lot of things. Kids will listen to what you say and remember it. (laughs) I'm like, only boring people are bored, because that's what my mom would say, and it's, I mean, true, like, and it's like, it's not my job to entertain you. That's what I love being by myself. That goes with the INFP thing. Stands for introverted, intuited, intuitive, feeling, perceptive, whatever, if you're into that stuff. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, like astrology, or like, no, astrology is completely different. Um, but you can like study in it, study Myers Briggs and probably get certified in it. You can get certified in pretty much anything. That's what college is. As long as you got money, you can be certified to put a title on it. As long as you got money. So. That's pretty much it. If you're looking at this thing, I was coloring this early, earlier. It says shine on. It's like a Care Bear coloring book. What else did I write? I a lot of stuff. That's why I wrote a lot of stuff. Oh, at some point, I, I've, I've had to realize that I don't need to be a slave to others. And I just need to, my desires are worthy of being fulfilled without having to, like, suffer or work hard for it. Like, I don't know, like, in school-wise, I thought, oh, once I, well, I never really wanted to go to school. I said that. And I kept, I've been thinking, like, it really, like, I got suspended after one year. And I only went to school for a boyfriend, to be honest. Like, if I go back, I, like, think, I wanted to be close to my family. I didn't know what I was doing with my life, but my life depended on this man. (laughs) And because I put that, I mean, these are all my decisions. I've learned from all of it, and I'm so grateful for everything. He was really my best friend at that time, and he's really helped me. Um, He really helped me in a lot of ways discover more about myself. Um, But, yeah, got suspended. And then, like, leaving, then coming back, and then, like, not doing well, and then leaving, coming back, and then trying it again. And then, like, I'm at this point. Like, I start once I started Asbury, I really, I didn't have a job until this summer, so, because, like, the last summer I did summer classes, and, um, that, so I didn't work, like, that was my job, because I kind of made a deal with my mom, like, I can't really work and go to school at the same time, because, like, I'm gonna put more focus on my work, obviously, um, well, not obviously, but, like, we're, I mean, that's just how it is, I could go into that. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah so I haven't taken a break till this summer when I nannied and I think it taught me a lot like that it's reminded me of my last job kind of and like school wise I don't know but they didn't respect me and it's like they're kids it's like I get that and I know that um and I love them but it. That's what, I don't know. They were very, I just, I can't be around, like, constantly rude people that can't, like, I noticed this stuff that kind of, like, below the surfaces. I don't know. Like, that's the stuff I care about. Not even below the surfaces, but, I don't know. But I realized I couldn't be, like, I just couldn't do it anymore. And it was really, I don't know. Like, it was really, like, hell. Like, if I'm living, and it kind of, that's, but that's how I felt with school. It's like, I'm living for this future point. 
in this future and because I know once I graduate like I don't I and no I don't really want a job where I need a degree I don't even know what I want to do and so I'm just gonna have this feeling and be in buffer mode until that happens and be have to figure all that out in four years and it's like I'm trying to help future Lucy out future Lucy like present day Lucy's not helping future day Lucy right now <laughs> like by ignoring this dilemma and I I'm very privileged I've talked about this like I'm in a privileged state in my life and my uh my <laughs> just family wise um so that I don't know but a lot of people think like college will solve all their problems and it's like we need to stop thinking that we really do like that's kind of toxic and like working that's what working where it's like hell that's what it's like I can't when I'm looking at the clock and it's like I can't wait to get home I'm looking forward to every bathroom break I'm like that's hell for me that's hell and that's how I've I was kind of ignoring it because I think I'm doing it for good it's like oh I'm helping kids like that's what I want to do like I want to I'm a very I want to help inspire people and be role models for these kids and just like play with them like that's what I love to do like roll the mat out let kids play and me play like that's what I want to do um I mean that's what I love to do but if I'm being disrespected the whole time and it makes me cry and freak out and like just want to get away like why the hell am I not getting away then because I'm, uh, I don't even know, uh, I just, I kind of felt like I had to do it. It's like, you sign up for this thing, and it's like, it has an end date, and it's like, you have to do it, you don't, you can't be a quitter, like, and it's like, I never quit back then, though, every time I wanted to quit when I was growing up, my mom, w- like, would not let me, like, I'm trying to think of a time when I quit, and, I mean, like, my mom, uh, it was like a known thing like I wanted to quit so much my mom was like you can but it's like I don't know this time like I was very getting very disrespected and it's like I don't I mean it's like kind of more than disrespected but I don't even want to talk about it I love you all that's what we did eliminate sin on some of our last days, but it's like, yeah, it, I mean, if something is, and with my boyfriend too, uh, the first boyfriend who I went to UK for, University of Kentucky for, he kind of, <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to be very vulnerable on this podcast because I think more people need to be vulnerable and open and like, I'm very like, I will talk about everything, um, and you should always think, like, what you're going to say, like, pe- it will be told. It will be told. Like, be careful what you say, because my mom always said it's a small town. Um, like, be careful what you say, your reputation, everything. Um, but also, I want to help other girls. Like, if... <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. It's just he wanted me to go to a smaller school because less partying. Which is funny because there's partying everywhere. And plus, I don't even like to party. And third, it's like... <laughs> just, I don't want to say the audacity. It's just... I don't know. I was kind of a puppet a little bit. Or just always... Like, I want to please people. I do. I want to be nice to people. I want, me, want people to feel good. And that goes with kindness. And it goes... You can overextend your kindness to a place where it's inauthentic and you are, like, resenting the person behind. So that's that's inauthentic when you're, like, resenting the person, really. And you're kind of lying to yourself, too. That's what I... We definitely lie to ourselves to protect ourselves. 
but that's why we need other people in our lives to be a reflection and a mirror for us. Damn, this is going in all the circles are all connecting. Um, let me get some water. My camera is still frozen, so we'll see. <coughs> yeah. Every, I've said this before, like every turning point in life is vital. Like every decision you make, what is that commercial? That is like every choice, everything is choices. I think he says a different word rather than choices, but I mean, everything is important. It can either help you or hurt you. I don't know, but it's really all about how you interpret it when it's going in, you know? Or just, like, not take it in your heart. Well, <laughs> now I don't. I mean, it'll, what? I mean, you determine how your heart feels. Just pay attention to your heart, okay? Just pay attention, and it's the mind-body connection. I think I think at that point, my mind wasn't connected to my heart. And that's why I was with my first boyfriend, and I was dating him for like five months, and then my dad died out of the blue. So I attached a lot more to him, and like he was... So when he, he, we, when we were done, when he left, then I like had to deal a lot more with my dad's grief. Like I've been in, I've been in a grief class with my mom recently. It's actually been really nice. Um, but yeah, I didn't deal with a lot of stuff because I relied on him. My mind and my body also weren't connected. Just none of it was connected. None of it, I didn't, I was not focusing on me at all. That's why I've said that. Like I was focusing all on him. And like he obviously liked me too. That's why he would always, like we didn't want to let each other go. Like it was like that. But there comes to a point in time when like, life and God will just keep bringing the circumstances and the signs around you that like are is the best for you right now is the most beneficial for you right now if you just pay attention if you just follow it like if you feel like in your if you're in a perpetual state of hell like I was when I was just naming kind of then change your cycle it's all a cycle it's look up Carl Jung um individuation the hero's journey chart learn about that i mean we're always in a cycle and if you feel like you're stuck then and you feel like you've tried everything internally like try to make a separate um change in your environment this would be <laughs> <laughs> you scared me <laughs> she was growling but yeah, if you feel like stuck, I think that's hell, honestly. And if you feel like you're living, like constantly growing, making choices, I think that's heaven. And I might end it on that. It's 443, almost 434. Baby, what is in your little beard? Almost 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, my. F Why does my phone say 442? My laptop says 443. Mac. Interesting. Time doesn't even exist. That's proof. Now. My laptop says 4.44. So, I just, I have, I love you all. I love everyone. All love. Love all. Goodbye. Good night. See you later. Um, I gotta pee. <laughs>